Hi what up YouTube. I'm back again with another video. In today's video, I'm here to help Nate so ugly expose King Sid. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share, and leave a comment on the video. Now let's get back to the video. King Sid has been exposed by his childhood friend and group member in Steve's group, Nate so ugly for his bad deeds towards him and the other group members. He exposed King Sid for trying to act towards him as his dad, and how he fell in love with a stranger from two mans, defending her all the time, even when she was wrong and shit. Now let's listen to what Nate gotta say. Say, King Sid, your time has come. All that bullshit, all that being fake behind closed doors, it's time to bring it to the light. Listen, people, if you have not peeped it already, and some of y'all did and some of y'all didn't, but I don't with bro i done let a lot of shit die down but i did not let nothing slide fam because you really tried it and you tried me you tried my character you tried my intelligence you really size me fam like i'm a goofy like i'm some goofball like i'm a lame ass nigga before i even get started let me just make one thing clear that steve the steve's group i'm not a part of that do not associate me with that shit. i'm not a part of that group that group it's nothing for that group that group was just a big ass scam for just to put money in this nigga pockets bro this nigga was using our faces to put money in his fucking pockets but i'm gonna get into that later on towards the video but let me start off with you mr king said there's four reasons why i had to stop fucking with bro matter of fact it's not even four reasons why it was the reasons that led up to me just not with bro completely bro this all started when we all move into a crib together but it was this nigga idea in the first place he called my phone saying yo nate i'm getting a crib i want you to move in i want us to start a, a whole group channel called the steez you feel me the steez group whatever he called my phone remind you at the time i was living with my mom you get what i'm saying i was still living with my mom i was like well, I'm, I'm 23 still living with my mom so i'm just like you know what, let me take this opportunity to move out. It's my first time moving out. And, and I'm moving out with other people that I do the same shit with. And I'm moving with other people that I'm cool with, that I grew up with, technically. Because me and him graduated together in high school. I met this nigga in high school, bro. So fast forward, I move in. I pay 15 to move in, right? This was the first issue I had with this nigga. When I first moved into the fucking house, that first, the first two weeks... Or the first week or the second week. I was on the phone downstairs with a girl. It's 2 p.m., people. Everybody else is still asleep. It's 2 p.m., right? It's 2 p.m. I'm downstairs talking to a girl. Everybody's still asleep. Then this nigga Sid comes down. He sees me on the phone. He sees me on the phone. I see him see me on the phone. I'm talking to the girl still on the phone out of nowhere. Five minutes later, this nigga starts yelling at me, telling me to get off the phone. Oh, why the you on the phone what if i came downstairs and started talking this and that get the fuck off the phone you always on the phone you always on the phone with a different bitch every day get the fuck off the phone what the fuck? my nigga i had to stop and think and realize this nigga is telling me to get off the phone to a house i'm paying 1200 a month Remind you people, I paid 15 to move in. Now, after that 15, I have to pay 1200 a month. That 1200 only came with a bedroom and a shared bathroom with Jay Wonder. So you mean to tell me I paid all this money for you to tell me, oh, get off the phone, tell me what the f to do, what when to be on the phone, and you telling me to get off the phone like you my f daddy. That day, literally, after he said that, started yelling at me, stabbing on me to get off the phone, bro. I just walked out. I ain't saying nothing to him. The man continued rambling on. Then out of nowhere, that's when Jay Wonder comes in talking about some, oh, just ignore him. He's just mad. Da -da -da -da. Y'all boys should dead it. This and that. I told Wonder the same shit. I didn't move in. I didn't pay 1200 to get yelled at, beaten, told what to do. I could have stayed at my fucking mother house. I have to go through the nigga to invite guests to a house I'm paying $1,200 a month to, bro. Um, whatever. Cool. But then here comes a second reason, bro. This man, Sid, and Suave had a two-man. The man, Suave, brought a two-man. Two girls to the crib so him and Sid could do whatever, whatever. You get what I'm saying? They had a two-man. Prior to that two-man, they had end up switching. And then, towards, during that 
situation, that's when Sid done cuffed the two men. Listen, I'm not gonna judge what a nigga do with a girl, but like I said again, it's just a two man. I don't, that's not, but listen to the story though. I'm just letting y'all know this the two men. If y'all did not realize who the girl was, this is the girl that I'm talking about. The girl named Kenzie. She was originally a, just a two man that was originally supposed to be for Suave, but it ended up as Sid and they just magically got together. She started living with us out of nowhere the next week. You get what I'm saying? I had no issues with the girl, nothing like that, I had no problem. She was living with us, boom, this and that. But then, during the time she was living with us, that's when stuff was being found out about her. They were finding out she was doing like, crazy drugs she was recently with just with the rapper before she even met with sid and she basically they're just basically saying she just ran through like a whole bunch of niggas done got with her right the man said pulls me aside about the girl and basically was telling me everything i just recently just told you about the drugs about who she was just with this and that how she's a whole all types of stuff and he's asking me what should he do and i told him i said listen fam you know who you are you know what type of person it is. You know you should not be around these type of girls. The man told me himself that he was going to go inside and kick the girl out. I kid you not, 30 to 40 minutes later, the man just ends up cuddling with the girl. Like I said before, people, I don't care what a guy do with a girl, but hey, that's just your business. This was started becoming the issue, though. We had a magic show video, right? Before the magician started, the ma magician came to me and said, listen, before I get started, I want you to tell everybody that's behind me to move away from me when I'm doing the magic tricks. I don't want nobody behind me when I do the magic tricks. So I went to everybody that was behind him when he was doing the magic tricks. I said, yo, before we get started, he don't want you behind you. I went to every different person. To her. I went to her. I literally said the same thing when I told everybody. I said, yo, he don't want nobody behind him when he does the magic trick. This girl starts being like, oh my God, leave me alone. Why are you bothering me? Why are you coming to me and telling me I'm not going to listen to what you do? Like, starts being a spoiled brat out of nowhere, bro. Bro, start causing a whole scene. Then this nigga said, Mr. Captain save a want to save this girl. Like, oh, why are you bothering her? This and that. Leave her alone. This and that. Get away from her. You don't even like her. You don't listen to that. You said all types of things about her. I'm like, bro, what? Fam, you just met the bitch like two weeks ago. Now you all like, you feel me? Yet you're protecting this girl, right? After just knowing her for two weeks, bro. So when she starts causing the commotion to sit, the man said did all that. Bro, I, bro, I kid you not. When he started snapping on me about that, I didn't even snap on him. I said, you know what? I'm not going to go do this video. I walked up and got up. I went to my room, bro. Because I'm like, bro, there's no way you're defending this after you just came to me about this right oh uh, that's when jeff and suave came in my room and just like nate just do the video f all that bullshit just knock out the video and this and that feel me so that's when i just went back downstairs and just continued to do the video bro peep game in my face i was so uncomfortable in the beginning of the video bro i was literally uncomfortable in the beginning of the video that's how you know before the video i was so uncomfortable and peep game as well notice how that's the last video of the channel right literally not only I was uncomfortable with the video because If y'all could remember, we were all just hanging around on YouTube and shit and We saw the first video on the Steez channel, they did hide and seek in the Steez crib And shit Some months or weeks down the line, the crib was filled with quarrels and Fight If y'all could remember, Nate was always pissed off in the crib To be honest I knew something was definitely wrong in the crib but as to the cause, I didn't know Now here's the cause Wow Subscribe, like, comment and share for part 2. I'm out.